Hi guys, this is going to be module two screencast of animating characters. I'm going to be taking you through how to add sound to your um, stories for narration. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the sounds tab right here and you'll click that to make a new recording and then it'll look like this. And after you're done with that, it'll come up as a file over here and you can save them or you can rename them to have it in a better order when we get over to wanting to use them. So we'll go to the scripts here and the category of sound will have all the different codes that you can use to play your sounds. So the ones that I used in mine were the play sound and play sound until done. I kind of had to play with it to see which one worked best with my animation because sometimes I wanted animations to be happening while my sound was playing. So for my first scene, I added um, three different sounds, even though it's all on one scene, just because my backdrop didn't change, but I integrated the sounds into um, different places in the animation. For my scene two, I did the same thing, but I just have one sound. And then this is my setup command, which brings everything back to this um, screen we have right here once the animation is complete. So I'll show you what it sounds like to add these two together. The mole had been working very hard spring cleaning his home, first with brooms, then with dusters, then on ladders and steps and chairs, till he had dust in his throat and eyes and an aching back and weary arms. Spring was moving in the air above and in the earth below and around him, penetrating even his dark and lowly house with its spirits of discontent and longing. It was a small wonder then that he suddenly flung down his brush on the floor, said, bother, and also, hang spring cleaning, and bolted out of the house without even putting on his coat. Something up above was calling him, and he made for this deep little tunnel which led to the air above. So he scraped and scratched and scrabbled, and then he scrabbled and scraped again, working busily with his little paws and muttering to himself, up we go, up we go. Till at last, pop, he came out into the sunlight and he found himself rolling in the warm grass of a great meadow. This is fine, he said to himself. This is better than cleaning. The sunshine struck hot on his fur, soft breezes caressed his heated brow. So one thing I did here for my scene one is you saw when the mole was in this area and he was going up the tunnel, I slowed down his time, his glide up um, in the tunnel to the same speed as my sound so that they kind of went together and the sound continued while he was still gliding. So the transition didn't happen before the sound was finished. So right here in glide, I made it 12 seconds because that is the sound, or that is the amount of time my sound three was. And another thing, up here in the right hand corner, there's a pause and a red dot button. Those can be used to pause and stop your sound. So if you're working, and you realize you want to change, some, change something, but your sound is still going, you can hit one of those and it'll stop. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Happy animating.